guys what's up so today we're going to be looking at uh fading in and out audio in uh, after effects um this will be my first tutorial and first of many this is the it's going to be a series of helpful little uh tips and tricks really some of the basics just in case you didn't really know you know um so what i have here is just a i mean little song that i made um just turn this down a little so this is gonna this is a song we're gonna be using. So the way we fade in audio in After Effects is by using the uh, audio um, audio effects and then we can set keyframes for the levels. So I'm just going to uh, make a new composition. It doesn't really matter what settings really. Um, it's going to go uh, into here. I'm just going to drag that in there. Wait for import. You can also go to file import files and select your music from there. So I'm just going to drag my uh, music into my composition and with the LL you'll bring up the waveform and uh, we can either keyframe the audio levels uh, there so if I just set keyframe here pull this all the way down to minus 48 decibels Let's go to like two seconds and then put this back up to zero. And you can see it fades in. Um, what I'd recommend you do is press uh, select key. Oh, that pause my recording. Um, you can press F9 to set easy ease keyframes, or you can right click them and use uh, easy ease. Um, yeah, let's set those to easy ease. And as you can see, <laughs> It fades in nicely, and you can also set a keyframe pressing this button here, and then go into the end, and then obviously putting this back down. Um, there is another way we can do this by let's put this back to zero, go back to the start, and we select the audio track, go to effect, audio, stereo mixer. You can use the left level and the right level as well. So if we uh, keyframe both of these. If we press shift uh, just U and you will uh, see the right and left uh, level keyframes there and if you press shift LL you will get the waveform as well as seeing these so if we uh, set these both to zero move to around two seconds put this back up to uh, 100 on that one and 100 on this one and obviously we select them both, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Do the same again by going to it towards the end. Set the keyframes again. Go right to the end. Let's uh, set these back down to zero and as you can see it'll fade in. And also it'll fade out. Oh, I just uh, made a mini mistake there. I just uh, go here and uh, set this one to zero. And as you can see, it fades out both channels. So that is the way we can fade in and out audio in After Effects. I'm using CS6, and this applies to pretty much every After Effects um, that I know of and I've used from CS3 right to CS6. I'm not sure about 7 or 6. Not the CSs, but just the After Effects 7 and 6. But um, I'm pretty sure it's the same principle. So if this video helped you, please like it. If you need any more questions, don't be, uh, don't hesitate to drop me a comment or inbox me. Um, you know, if you didn't know this and 
it did help you please drop a like and if you want to see more how much like this and obviously just subscribe